finish I'd hoped for at the Giro. Um, yeah, obviously we had the crash in stage eight and I tried to push through yesterday in stage nine and yeah, I just went so deep trying to push through the pain, but yeah, the body's just not great. So yeah, we've made the decision to, to stop the race and not start today, looking looking ahead to the future as well. But um, yeah, I mean, I really have to thank the team, the whole Giro for the support and backing me and belief in me it's been yeah really inspiring for me to see how the team have, have rallied around me and I'm, I'm so grateful for that opportunity and yeah I'm really disappointed that I couldn't pay off um, all of their hard work but uh, yeah the atmosphere is still good and um, yeah looking for a really strong stage from the girls that are left in the race today. Overall this duo wasn't exactly what we came here for we we planned for a better result and prepared for a better result so uh, the overall feeling is a little bit sort of deflated but um, you know I'm here now talking to you before the last stage so I'm still feeling positive we've got one more opportunity one more day uh, one more chance and we're gonna take it yeah so personally I think day by day I feel a little bit better he was a little bit I think unlucky Giro we lost uh, three riders with a with a really unlucky crash but I think we show our fighting in spirit and I think it's uh, like the, the best of, of the year. Yeah, I think uh, the GC is already done, so I think it's a breakaway day. I would like honestly to be there and fight for the stage win. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but I think uh, it's going to be a really hectic and, and hard stage. And from the beginning, it will be a lot of attacks. Thank you for, for all the support. It's really nice to, to feel like all the strength you give to us. And yeah, I hope uh, we see it like this. Also Roy tried several times to go in the attack in the breakaway. We missed the break because of the, the crash in the downhill where Sarah crashed. <coughs> but yeah, I think uh, as I said before, I think the most important is that we keep always fighting until the, the finish line. And yeah, I really am really just uh, happy because we finish, we fight, and uh, I think it's the most important. But yeah, this is racing. Sometimes when you, you expect to be really in shape, you don't feel the best uh, legs. And then when you don't, uh, you don't expect, then arrives. There was a break from uh, five or six riders and nobody for us was in the group. And then uh, the sport director say, yeah, we need to close the gap. And then I go to the front, but uh, I want to make the pace high. But then I was alone. I was on the break and then that was not, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was not the plan. And then uh, Martin say, uh, just easy, uh, go to the peloton. And then I did the uh, team time trial. Of a time trial, I think from 10 kilometers to make the pace high and try to close the gap. Uh, yeah, a bit of, bit of the road from Italy. <laughs> um, no, it, it was good racing apart from my crash. Bit of a roller coaster and up, up and down for us. But um, no, I think we all did pretty well as a team. Did what we could. Well, there's uh, always some positive to to find with uh, with races, and you know, always learn something. But uh, it's been ten uh, really hard and frustrating days. Started with uh, after 100k with uh, crashes and riders falling out, and uh, I think uh, the good thing is that we have a team who uh, stick together, keep fighting and challenging, and uh, that we see uh, on the last stage today as well. Yeah, women's cycling is improving, and it's. Uh, taking step on, on, on all kinds of arenas and uh, uh, races improve, teams improve, riders improve, they're getting more stronger riders and uh, growing underneath with the young talents. So, um, so I think uh, the future for women cycling is, uh, is bright.